Hi, this is Rick Pedley and welcome back to PK Safety Supply. For today we're going to be taking a look at how to calibrate the Multi-Ray Plus uh, 5 gas gas detector from Ray Systems. First thing we want to do when we get started on something like this is have my uh, owner's manual here, in case I need to refer to that, that aside. We have our cylinders of calibration gas, isobutylene for the PID, multi-gas mix for the uh, uh, other sensors. Uh, something to note is these things do have expiration dates. The isobutylene is good for about two years. The multi-gas is only good for one year. They have expiration dates on them and you definitely want to keep a close look at that. So, first thing we're going to do is turn the unit on. To do that, press the mode button. It starts going. And this is going to take about two minutes for it to get completely warmed up. So we'll uh, check that out in a second. Okay, so the unit's uh, warmed up and it's just about ready to go. First thing it's going to ask me is do I, want, do I want to do a fresh air calibration? I'll say no right now since we're going to go into calibration anyway. That shows you the sensors and their readings. You know, it's 20.9 for oxygen, zero for everything else. To get into calibration mode, I'm going to press mode and no at the same time. It's going to pause the data logging. Calibrate monitor, we're going to say yes. Fresh air calibration, yes. Since everything was zero, it might not be a bad, uh, big deal, but we don't know where this might have been zero in the past. Bear in mind, bringing the air in from fresh air, we're in an office environment, should be clear. Goes through this pretty quickly. Zero cal done. So, multiple sensor calibration. This is where we're going to use our multi-gas cylinder, so we'll say yes. And these are the, the sensors it's going to calibrate. CO, LEL, and H2S. Is that okay? Yes. Apply mixed gas. I turn on the knob and I attach it with the lure connector to the unit. Calibration in progress. And it's going to count this down. It takes one minute. Okay, so just about done here. CO cal gives you the reading. H2S cal gives you the reading. And LEL cal gives you the reading. So now it's going to tell us to turn off the gas. So first thing we do is remove the connector, turn off the gas. That uh, took about a minute. Single sensor calibration, we'll get right to that. Okay, so single sensor calibration, we're going to say yes. And now we have to pick. With our mode button, we go over one to VOC and we say yes. Apply gas. So Turn on the knob, attach the lure fitting, calibration in progress. Once again, this takes about a minute. Okay, and just about to the end here, just counting down from 60 seconds. There you go. VOC cal tells us the reading is 100. Now we're going to turn off the calibration gas. So first thing we do is remove the connector, turn off the gas. And now uh, we could go on and it's a uh, calibrate another sensor. We're going to say no, and we're not going to say no to that. Change gas, change this. Touch the mode sensor. Data log resume. We're back in business. The sensors you'll notice uh, still have to clear. That is, there's a little bit of CO still inside. Uh, a little bit of VOC, but those will clear within the next 30 seconds or so, and the unit is now ready to go. It's been exposed to known values of calibration gas. You know that all the sensors are working, and the unit is going to be accurate when used in your work situation. Okay, well there you go. Uh, the unit's calibrated, and all that took about six minutes overall. Uh, if there had been any issues with a sensor, say a sensor that uh, wasn't calibrating, it would have given you an alarm and told you to do something about it. So, thanks a lot, and look forward to some more videos.